What up, YouTube? Agent Persuasion here with my boy Slim. You already know. Another YCS. Oh, wow, bro. <laughs> our boy Marcus Hayden. What, what did you do today, bro? Uh, I top 32 to YCS Salt Lake City with uh, Zexel Pendulum. Zexel Pendulum, baby. Can't right. play Yu Gi Oh! Check out this badass yeah. Matsu. Right. We already got Hayden. Oh, yeah. This shit's nice. Get some badass Mats in here, bro. Uh, so I had two Black Fang. Uh, this is. I had it at three when I first was testing it the night before the event. But it's just like it just clogs. It's just a level four, I guess. It's a high skill, but there, there's just better cards to play. I felt like, and it was, I couldn't cut it down to forty. And this was like one of the first cards I wanted to cut. Uh, three of like the best magician, other than Wisdom Eye, probably. Uh, three off Dragon. This was weird, but it was really good all day, other than in top cut because I drew too many of it. Uh, three Wisdom Eye. He's awesome because he just acts as any scale, and yeah. That's why you also don't need to play more than three Black Fang. Three Purple Poison. This card's amazing. It just outs everything. Uh, and then I do the one time Gazer, three Chrono, one Star Gazer, three Astro. I don't know how this card's not once per turn. It's that insane. That card is unfair. Uh, and then non like Magician Sorcerer lineup. I played one Supreme King Gate Zero and two of these. Unlike the uh, build that top Costa Rica, I thought the Rescue Hamster was like good in your hands that were already good, but I wanted more starter cards and more ways to make Electromite without having a normal summon and whatnot. And this card's just really fucking good. Uh, and then still play the three Abyss Actor. I played the one of this, two of this, and three of this. This is amazing draw. This is okay to draw because it's still it's basically just the new Kirin. It just it's level six that negate or says no to your opponent. And this card sucked because it's a light, and <laughs> it was only good if you already Cerebus, which means like you already probably have a live hand. And I would not play it again. I like built this last minute, and yeah, I might cut for a third black thing, but there's probably other cards before that I'd even play. Uh, and then for the spell lineup. I think it's 34 monsters. Uh, three Allure, and because I played the Dragon Engine, I played one Foolish, one Shrine. You need every card in your hand to be live, so you can't afford to draw multiples of these. And then the one spell. Uh, so I found out that hard drawing this is actually really, really good because your opponent, if they hand trap you, it doesn't matter. You're still going to end on Zexel. But uh, yeah, I Zexeled eight times throughout the tournament. Uh, and I got hand trapped three of those eight times and still was able to do it because people don't understand Bro. that you're supposed to Ash or Ogre the uh, Beatrice because then they can't add this back to hand. Mm -hmm. They just do it too early always. Uh, for the extra deck, it's uh, one Vortex because yeah, you still can set up the negate board. Sometimes I would do it if I thought my opponent like was really good and would like side in Ash and Ogres and whatnot to hit the Beatrice. I would just set up the normal negate board because they won't hit Electrum. So they'll just lose and just have dead hand trips. Uh, two of these, because you still need it as an extender. It gives everything piercing, so you just murder some decks. And yeah, he copies Electromite. Uh, Beatrice and the Gaia, so you could for the Zexel play, 1-1. One, one. Uh, I was playing Prime, because against the uh, uh, Draco deck, if you don't play Prime and you make this, they can literally set a card, tribute any of their tribute summons and attack over Zexel, and then they can just set traps and stuff and still play. But if you play Prime, then it's 3k after you detach, and they can't get over this still. So you get two turns where they don't play, and then you just win. But uh, I opted against it for a reason I'll show you in a second. Uh, I played Baguska over it because the thing with Baguska is if my opponent's good, so what I'll do, I'll keep the level 4s before I ever make Utopia. So I'll make this. So when this gets hand trapped, uh, if my opponent's playing hand traps, they're probably playing Trickstar or Mech Knight Invoke. And both of those decks hard lose the Baguska if it stays. So when this gets at, like if this got ogred or ashed, I would just instantly make this with the level fours and probably just still win the game. Uh, this, obvious reason. This, uh, I only made this twice, but it's still needed. I'd still play it. Uh, one Ignister. The thing I disagreed with the build that topped Costa Rica is that he played no like going second side deck card or extra deck cards so if you're going second and like you have to bait out like negates or other cards you need ignister to like just out certain things or like break the pendulum board or even draco boards uh two of this uh never third never came up because if i normally just make this if i need the third uh 
one of this because there's times where you get in awkward places where you'll have like this guy on board and you can't link like you'll have like this and this or something or not this like uh, XYZ or fusion or just something weird and you can't make a rank or a link two or a three because you don't play like decode so you just hard make this because it's safe and you still end on your own eyes uh, and then the last one because you have to play it and it's insane uh, for the side deck this one's a little weird I played one droll I wanted to play more but I actually just could not fit it in the rest of the side deck this card's insane if I were to play any deck that plays hand traps this is 100% in it uh, two ash two ogre these are just more generic I thought about cutting an ogre for a second one of these because this card just destroys like the way Pendulums play now, they play so many search cards, whether it's Pen Call, uh, Cerebus, they summon the Dragon Dude in search, like uh, Dual Slime, just a million cards. This card hits them, it destroys Draco, and it's just relevant in most matchups. But uh, these were just like safer, I guess. So, yeah. Play two of these, really good because it's a level 7 for you to exceed with if you need it, and then it's also just really good versus like Draco and stuff. Uh, these was because I was testing against Cody's 60 card uh, <laughs> Light Sworn uh, Dino, or he wasn't playing Dino, Ed was playing Dino, but both their decks. Uh, and I was losing a lot of games going second because they just pop off and my deck doesn't play enough hand traps. And I was like, screw it, I'm going to play this. I tested a game and it was insane. And plus, it's really good for Trickstar. I didn't end up playing any Trickstar. But yeah, it, it was just really good. And I played two of the 60 card decks. So it, both, both times I drew it too, so it was insane. Yeah. Uh, too evenly, never want to draw multiple, and it's only really good when you have a way to get to purple poison, whether you have to wisdom eye somehow and like clear scales or or if you have it. Uh, I think I may wanted to have played like something else over these because they're very subpar. Even when I resolved them, a lot of games like were hard to win. And lastly, three barrier. I know I played the Zexel build, but if they're playing hand trap, stop Zexel, and you draw this, it's still just insane. It's still relevant versus other decks like the Mech Knight deck and whatnot. So. For sure. Awesome. Shout outs, bro. bro. Shout, shout out. Shout outs, out. outs to Thank my team, of course, Titan Esports yeah, and MetaMats. Yeah, meta shout out David. Yeah, yeah. He helps us out a lot. Uh, sure. Shout outs to my girlfriend, Bella. I love you. Uh, shout out to Cody. He was the one who switched me on this deck. Me and Justin Singh were testing a completely different build of Pendulum. And actually, last week at uh, the Columbus Regionals, I went 8 1 with that build. And we were playing like Magical Abductor and just a lot of really cool things. Uh, but we opt I opted out of it because Cody was like, don't give your opponent a chance to win turn one like, and doesn't lose the hand traps as bad as the FTK deck does. So mm -hmm. that was pretty cool. Uh, shout outs to Justin for testing me a lot. Shout outs to Michael State. Shout outs to <laughs> the boy. Uh, shout outs to Kyle. He lent me like so many cards. He always does. He's the reason I'm out here. He flew me out here. He couldn't be here this weekend because he had a family thing come up. But he's the homie. I hang out with him all the time, and he helps me test a lot. Uh, anyone who lent me cards in general, Elise, uh, Michael Shafar, <laughs> Kyle, uh, I'm sure there's more that I cannot think off the top of my head. Why? And I believe that's it. Shout outs to the boys, Mike and Johnny, of hey. course. Yep. And my boy Butler. Sadly, Butler. Oh, yeah, and the so Butler. Butler. Sadly, I Butler. only top 32, but you'll see me around more. So. You already know, man. Congrats on that top, bro. Appreciate Thanks it. For hey,